Hey there, folks. Today I've got a battle against Kecleon da Boss. He challenged me, um, and he's running a mono-electric type team. So, okay, I'm using my Trick Room team, and based on the fact that he is using a mono-electric type team, I figure my opponent is going to be relatively worthless, uh, especially until he, I get Trick Room up. Um, but beyond that, my, the rest of my team should be doing okay. Hustle and mining, you don't really see it very often. He's got a Pikachu, which I guess is just for lulls. Um, and all in all, I'm not particularly worried. So, uh, with, without any further ado, the battle is going to begin. I'm going to lead off with my Uxie and my Metagross. Um, if you go back into the archive of my old PBR battles, you'll know the combo that's coming up. Um, it's a pretty effective uh, lead combo for me. Uh, it's really great to have Uxie there because it's uh, in the air. And Actually, I guess I don't usually lead with my Metagross. I usually lead with my Empoleon when I'm leading with uh, Uxie. Um, but basically, the idea is that I can trick on, um, or I can use Skull Swap to get um, Empoleon levitating, and then I can send in someone who has Earthquake and do a whole lot of awesome stuff. But I just figured I wanted to use Earthquake first turn. Uh, so my opponent actually predicts that I'm going to go for the Earthquake and switches out one Pokemon and protects with the other. Uh, so that's a wasted turn for him. Uh, and it's fine by me because it means that I'm going to be able to get off my Trick Room. So now, the great thing about Electric types is that they're so, they tend to be pretty darn fast. So that's great for me because I've got Trick Room up and all my Pokemon are ev to be fairly to moderately slow. Some of them are actually ev to be very slow. I think one of them has uh, not an Iron Ball but a Power Weight. I think it's actually um, Yuxi now that I... No, it wouldn't be Yuxi. It would be um, Yorick, my... Whatchamacallit? Yorick is my... Um, wow, blanking on the name. Dust Noir. Anyway, I'm going to want to switch out here. I figured he wouldn't want to go for the Double Protect uh, with his... Um, Plusle, or is that a minor? I, I totally blanked out there. But, gonna switch out there, that's fine. Gonna send in Yorick, uh, just basically, I figured it was an okay idea. Oh, and I hear the Shadow Sneak, which I can use to hit Rotom super effectively. Gonna go ahead and use Psychic against Rotom. Does a hefty chunk of damage. I'm pretty happy. Rotom carries the Reflect, that's actually kind of interesting. Uh, wasn't really expecting that, and it makes sense, uh, you know, if he's worried about earthquakes. But luckily, my Metagross is a mixed Metagross, and that's going to be fine by me. But it uh, it does mean that even though Yorick has a stab, super effective move, and Shadow Sneak, it might not be enough to kill. Um, but so whatever, I'm going to try it, and I'm going to, you know, spread the damage around, uh, target his Plusle. I think I'm going to target his puzzle. Yeah, I do target his puzzle just in case his Rotom carries the Protect and wants to screw me over. He's actually going to withdraw puzzle this turn. Fine by me. That means that's one turn that it's not doing anything. Out is going to come his Zapdos, which is probably the biggest threat on his team. Um, so I go ahead and go for the Shadow Sneak. I get a crit, which on a, I mean, I honestly don't know whether that crit was necessary to get deliver the KO. I mean, it is stab and super effective. Rotom is super frail, but he did have a reflect up. Although it is double, so reflect isn't quite as effective. So I go for Psychic. It hits his Zapdos decently well. Now I'm pretty sure that Zapdos has Heat Wave, um, but I figure. You know, actually, I'm. You know, if he takes out my Uchi Koma, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for another Shadow Sneak here. I uh, don't really think it's gonna do very much against his Zapdos, but you know, get off some damage. It's better than nothing. Gonna go for a Psychic against the Zapdos as well. Just figure it's probably not gonna want to protect. Indeed, his minus or his Minin rather goes for the Helping Hand. So I'm thinking, okay, he's probably most certainly gonna go for the Heat Wave. And boosted by the helping hand, that's probably going to do a lot of damage. So here I just, luckily I'm hitting him from all sides, doing a considerable chunk of damage. And uh, I even get the special defense drop, which is super, super nice. Here comes the heat wave, but luckily my uh, Uchi Koma, my Metagross, carries the Aka Berry, so its power is going to be halved, and Uchi Koma is going to survive the hit, which is just awesome. Um, now his Mr. Ducky recovers a little bit of health with leftovers. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and go for the. I think I switch it up and go for the pain split here, um, because it's. I just figured it'll do more damage than uh, Shadow Sneak with the reflect up and whatnot. So here I'm just gonna go for the psychic again just to take out his um, Mr. Ducky. His um, Minin is going to go for the protect. 
and that's going to block plane, plane split, and that's not going to... I mean, it's just, you know, I had nothing else to do with my uh, York. My Metagross is cleaning up. It's just doing such a great job of eliminating Pokemon on his team. So that's a second Pokemon down. That is great for me. Uh, this turn, the trick, uh, the this room, the Trick Room, is going to go down just in time for him to send out Electivire. Um, fine by me. Uh, I mean, they often carry the Fire Punch. Maybe he can take out my Uchikoma, but maybe not. So I think I go for the Hammer Arm here, just thinking next turn I'll be able to get my... You know, I'll, I'll be even slower. It'll be great. His Minon carries the Encore, which is a great move for him. Probably the best move... Uh, either of us do in this entire match because it is going to prevent me from setting up the Trick Room. Uchikoma survives the Thunder Punch, so he, I guess he doesn't carry the Fire Punch. Uh, that's great for me. I go ahead and go for the Hammer Arm, but it's not, I mean, it's not going to take it out. I really should have gone for the Earthquake and just had, uh, had York take the hit, um, but eh, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, just, you know, residual... or. Teammate friendly fire is never a good thing, and he, my opponent does have the reflect up, so you know it might have done more to me than to him. So I'm gonna pull back York at this point, send out um, my Uxie just because I really need that trick room up if I'm gonna get anything done. Minon goes for the protect, that's fine. Uh, wasted turn for him. His Electivire is now gonna go for the earthquake. So yeah, talking about blocking friendly fire on your team, earthquake is going to hit. Is, obviously it's going to take out Metagross at that range of health. I mean, that's not even a question. So Metagross is going to go down, and that's, you know, it did its job. It got a good number of KOs, um, really put me in a really good position. Patrick the, uh, isn't going to take any damage from that. And so now it's, what, 5, four, five, three. Oh, I guess I'll see in a second. Um, so I send up Pazuzu. Yeah, so it's 5-4. Uh, so I'm not in that much of a lead, but I have taken down two pretty big threats. Um, and so now Minon is going to go for the Helping Hand. Uh, neither one's going for the Protect. That's fine by me. Uh, his Electivire is going to go for the Thunder Punch. I'm slightly worried about how much damage that's going to do, but really I didn't need to be. Uh, as long as he doesn't get my Uxie paralyzed, I'm A-OK. -okay. Pazuzu goes for the Heat Wave. Uh, it's going to hit both of his Pokemon. Isn't actually going to do very much because it's not stab or anything, but it is the move. Oh, I get the burn here. I'm like, yeah, it's awesome. But he has the Lumberry. Great item to have on Electivire, uh, considering, you know, if that thing actually had been burned, I would be a little bit screwed. I get my Trick Room back up. His Minon is going to go for the Protect. And, you know, I mean, it's just... The problem, I think, with his team is that a lot of his Pokemon are just sitting there not doing anything. I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out. I was really expecting that to KO. It does not KO. His um, that, his Electivire survives just a teeny tiny itsy bitsy bit of HP. Um, now I'm here going to switch out into my Dragonite who also carries the Earthquake. So basically, Earthquake is a great move to use against this guy's team considering it is mono-electric. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm actually taking out his Electivire which is probably the biggest threat on his team. Um, well, I guess besides Zapdos, but I already took out Zapdos, so that's great for me. His Reflect finally wears off, which is going to be super nice. Uh, out now is going to come Plusle. Now it's Plusle and Minon versus my two Pokemon. Now, uh, Plusle and Minon, I guess Plus and Minus, their abilities are really going to help complement each other. And Minon is going to go for the uh, Helping Hands, so if I don't KO that Plusle, I'm going to be in a really bad position. But I do carry the Earthquake. I am, you know, it's going to be super effective, and I hit both of them. I get a crit against Minon. Didn't matter. I mean, come on. That completely didn't matter. So I take out both Plusle and Minon. That is excellent for me. Don't have to worry about either of those two Pokemon anymore. And now he's only got one Pokemon left, which, if you recall from the opening, is Pikachu. Yep, uh, Pazuzu wasted a turn there. That's really okay. So this battle is basically over. He's got Pikachu left. My Trick Room is up. He actually goes ahead and resigns. So hope you enjoyed that, folks. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was an interesting battle, to say the least. So comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.